Yeah, it may just look like a birthday party celebration, but for Braves left-hander Grant Dayton, taking a look at colored balloons through uh, new glasses is a very different experience than it might be for you and I. Grant joins us on the Tuesday program. Grant, good morning. We became aware of your colorblindness, if I may, uh, recently, and, and I think a lot of people are really interested in this and how it affects you as a baseball player. Talk about uh, the experience of, of having to differentiate between colors that you can't see while you're performing your craft? Well, first off, good morning. Thanks for having me on. Um, I got to be honest, I didn't know I was colorblind until I was 22 or 23 routine eye exam. Uh, and the doctor decided to test me and there I was. I couldn't see color and I couldn't believe it. So, um, you know, I didn't know I played baseball all my life and I didn't I had no idea. So I can't really say up to that point, I even knew it was affecting me. Um, I would say probably the biggest challenge that looking back on it that I had was seeing the laces on the baseball, um, especially when it's mm -hmm. rubbed up real nice. The, the red laces blend into the brown rubbed up baseball. And maybe that's why I couldn't hit. Who knows? Maybe... <laughs> Maybe uh, <laughs> maybe I could have hit a little better and uh, it'd be a different world, but I like pitching, so it's all good. You know, Grant, uh, they say on a major league roster of 26 people that two or three are going to be colorblind. Well, I am one of those colorblind people myself. And just oh, like wow. you, I never found out until I was uh, 21 or 22 years old. Um, I wanted to ask you a funny question. I feel okay. as though everyone around me is asking me all the time about how do I like that color dress? Um, how does this go together? What do you think of this color for the, the kitchen wallpaper? Do you ever find yourself in that same situation? Yeah, it's it's funny. It's If they don't know I'm colorblind, um, I definitely get you know the questions about color like I think anybody would. And my input is just kind of like uh, whatever you think. <laughs> You know, I, <laughs> colors never really pop for me. But when people find out I'm colorblind, it's it's nonstop like, hey, what color is that? What color is that? It's like, well, I, I know my version of that color. So when I tell them that's red or that's green, they're like, you're not colorblind. I'm like, that's what I thought. You know, it's I had no idea that I was. So, you know, people are walking around right now and they have no idea they're colorblind until they take a test. And, you know, the doctor is going to hold up this little circle with a number in it and it whether you you see the number you don't and i didn't see it <laughs> so yeah it, it always it always presents a conversation where it's what color is this what color is that it's the same thing and then they're like you're not colorblind i'm like okay <laughs> yeah I <am. laughs> so yeah i had no yeah, idea we're taking a look at some so. uh, yeah What's here's that? some images grant that's this this is kind of the world that you see uh on the right here and then what a lot of us other people see that uh, that can differentiate color. But I, I want to kind of get yeah. back to uh, what Ron had hinted at with you about when people take your, I guess, take your opinion on colors and stuff. Funny story, I guess, and I, I, I want to hear it from you. You, you. When you had your first date with your wife, Corey, uh, you put together kind of a wonky outfit. Tell us about that. <laughs> I don't know how y'all got, you know, that story, but yeah, that's embarrassing. I, I had these, I had, a, I think it was a blue shirt on and green pants and I thought the pants were blue. So long story short, you know, she was wondering about my taste in clothes, but it all turned out <laughs> to be okay. But uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for that. <laughs> but now, you know, I got my glasses. These are in chroma glasses and they, you know, I've seen the pants since, and they're green. <laughs> so, oops, my bad. But yeah, it's all it's all good. Um, there's constantly stories about my wife asking me about colors, and I'm like, that doesn't look right. And she's like, well, you're colorblind. I'm like, well, then why'd you ask? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it happens all the time. Exactly. You know, uh, Grant, I was, I was uh, thinking since you mentioned your wife, Corey, you have a son, Nolan, who has amazing color hair. And then your wife has beautiful green eyes. Do the glasses help you um, notice an, an, a new relationship with your with your family? 
Yeah, absolutely. I, their eyes are, you know, more colorful than I ever could have imagined. And even skin tones change when I, when I take the glasses off, they almost look green and zombie like it's, it's really weird. But when the glasses are on, they're like full of life and there's a little bit of red in the skin and it just, it's pretty, um, everything's pretty flowers, <laughs> um, land, just landscape in general, grass, dirt. I mean, I was sitting around <laughs> looking at these dead plants with a little bit of red in them. And I'm like, man, that's really pretty. And Corey's like, that plant's dead. I'm like, well, it's a pretty <laughs> dead plant. <laughs> So it, it's really changed everything for me. And I mean, in Chroma, you know, props to them for figuring this out because uh, I'm pretty sure they're the only ones doing glasses like this. And it's, it's changed my world. I tell you what, there was a uh, fire station right next to the baseball field where I put these glasses on and I immediately saw that red fire truck. And I just, I couldn't believe what I'd been missing out on, but I, immediately understood why they paint these trucks red <laughs> you know before it was just like hey, you know it's reddish brown whatever but you can't miss it and i get it now so uh maybe a little you know save my life you know and i see the stop signs better too so you know you don't wow. have to watch out for me wow. anymore on the road <laughs> really cool and uh, we would encourage uh, anybody that knows somebody or if you have the same condition to uh, look into the Enchroma product. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. We have to hit you with a little bit of baseball before we say goodbye, Grant. What a great year for you, for the Braves. Thank and that you. Braves bullpen, man alive. I mean, just so many ways to get out of jams and finish games from the left side yeah. in particular. I mean, there's not a team out there that wouldn't kill to have a guy like you and Will Smith on its side. Talk about the group and, and how you felt internally about the work you guys did. I thought we were great. Um, you know, we had some challenges to overcome. We pitched a lot of innings. and um, But thankfully, with the expanded rosters this year, I don't feel like we got worn out at all. And that really helped us out. I know it was for COVID, but it helped with uh, amounts of innings that we had to pitch. And it was it was fun. I mean, we fed off of each other. Um, we had a lot of trust in each other. There was nobody that went out there and, you know, um, you didn't have faith in. And, you know, if you look at <clears throat> the numbers that I personally put up and I thought they were pretty good. Um, and I was more of a mop up guy in the bullpen that tells you what kind of bullpen we had. And it was really, really fun to play with these guys. Um, you know, we had four lefties and, uh, you know, between Mentor and Smith and Matzik and myself, I think that, um, you know, we proved a lot this year. And especially if you haven't looked into Tyler Matzik's story, you definitely need to. I think that not only was he a great comeback guy, but, you know, he had the thing uh, before and he overcame that and he was throwing 96 and 98 just you know cheddar balls um, that were hard to hit and he was fun to watch in particular and AJ Minter turned his uh, career around he had an unbelievable year so um, it was fun to play with these guys and you know I hope that I get the opportunity to do so again. Grant, we really appreciate the visit today, man. And, and thanks for booking our next guest, too. I think our people are at work now scrambling to get a cell phone number for Tyler Matson <laughs> because you're right. His story is a good one, and so is yours. Yes, we appreciate well, the time. Have a great holiday season, man, and, uh, and enjoy yourself. You deserve it.